Hello and welcome. In this lecture, we are going to talk about Ansible architecture. In Ansible architectures, we have Ansible engine where we have inventory, modules, API, plugins, and we can write our own Ansible playbook on which with help of a modules and inventory. And uh, that will be done by that in developers, uh, you know, and uh, once that playbook is done, then playbook will use the module and inventory and you can perform the set of operations for uh, configuring the networks firewall or like in doing the deployment database deployment or like in installing that in any software uh, doing that in, uh, you know, uh, changing the directory structures and so and so forth and copy the file for example in on premises or in the cloud and uh, we'll have a configurations management database as well so with help of uh, that meaning we'll have a different different environment like in development qa uh, pre-prod productions or we can say that blue and green technology so we that will be def defined into that in uh, cmdb and uh, you know uh, that ansible engines will be called by that in uh, uh, like in a public or private cloud and you know so um, for this what we are going to do in more uh, in entire uh, like in a uh, uh, course We'll write that in different different Ansible playbook with a different different set of activity on uh, you know um, uh, I'll be not definitely write that in uh, whatever modules we have a thousand plus into that in Ansible but uh, uh, Definitely I'll guide you how to use that module in uh, Ansible with the best way to uh, defining the inventory and use that in inventory into the Ansible playbook and perform the task of uh, you know into that in uh, uh, Ansible remote uh, uh, remote serv uh, servers where uh, the Ansible engines will be play that in major role into that and uh, that's all about in this lecture so uh, just uh, let me know if you have any questions I'll be more than happy to answer within 24 hours.